Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmond Mendaros and for today's a quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve Windows update with the error code 0x8007-1160 on Windows 11 computer. So this error is usually accompanied by a message like there were problems installing updates or something went wrong which leaves users unable to install required fixes potentially leaving the system vulnerable or delayed access to new features so this error 0x8007-1160 is typically a result of an issue with update components or system settings a common reason is a corrupt Windows update cache in the software distribution folder where update files are kept. And without further ado, and let's go ahead. So the first solutions we will do is to check the relevant services. So all you have to do is to press the Windows key plus letter R on your keyboard to open this run. And then pop up this run so here in box and then we need to type this command keyword services.msc so just type this command keyword services.msc that is one word and then click ok and then once you open up the services and services local and on right side and then we need to find and locate this windows update so scroll down and then locate this windows update so all you have to do is to select and then right click and then check if the service is already running or not. So if the service is not running, so double click and open properties. So since this service is already running, so all you have to do is to select this restart and wait to complete the restart process. And then after that, and then we need to modify again this command keyword background intelligent transfer service so scroll up and then find this background intelligent transfer service so same procedure select and then right click and then check if the service is already running or not so since this service is not running so all you have to do is to double click and then here at general properties startup type and then you need to select automatic and then here at service status and then click start and wait to complete the start process and then next step then I click apply and then I click ok and the last keyword that we need to modify is the cryptographic services so you need to scroll down again and then select this cryptographic service so same procedure select and then right click and then check if the service is already running or not so since the service is already running so all you have to do is to select restart and wait to complete the restart process and after that and then we need to close this services and the other solutions that we're going to do is to run the sfc and the same scan so all you have to do is to open up on a search menu and then here at search for apps and then you need to type cmd or uh, this is the command prompt and then you need to right click and select run as administrator if you receive user account control and then click yes and then once you open up this administrator command prompt and the next step then you need to type and enter this command keyword as fc space slash scan now so slash scan now that is one word and then press enter and beginning system scan this process will take some time beginning verification space of system scan so here we need to wait to complete the verifications into 100%. So this command keyword SFC scan now is a command used in Windows to run the system file checker, which scans all protected system files on your computer and replaces any corrupted or incorrect versions with the correct Microsoft versions. Then we need to wait to complete the verifications. and verification 100% complete and the next command keyword that we need to enter so just copy and paste this command keyword this is space slash online space slash cleanup dash image space slash restore health 
So use this keyboard shortcut Control plus C to copy this command. And then we need to paste in here Control plus B and then press enter. And deployment image servicing and management tool. So here we need to wait to complete again the verifications into 100%. And the restore operations completed successfully. So after this two command for complete process, and then we need to close the CMD. And then here at the start menu, and then we need to restart to fix this error. Alright, so that's it guys on how to fix Windows update with the error code 0x8007160 on Windows 11. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.